for us who've been in the military and for us who have suffered the consequences of war, um, this, is, this is a very special day. Um, and we started this six or seven years ago um, because uh, throughout Massachusetts there'll be um, a lot of ceremonies today. And a lot of those ceremonies are very militaristic with uh, guns and drums and, and uh, you know, parades with a lot of military equipment, par you know, with a lot of military speeches and flyovers. And for us, Memorial Day is not a day to, um, you know, to espouse militarism. Uh, Memorial Day is a day to remember, to take a moment and, and just, in, in all of our hearts, just remember those who have, uh, who have died because of war, who have uh, suffered the consequences of war, and uh, it's a solemn day. Uh, for many of us. And I think for everyone here, it's a solemn day. And I really appreciate everyone coming today. Um, this is a day to remember uh, all those who've died. It's a day to remember you know, all those who've been wounded, not just physically wounded, but psychologically wounded with PTSD and traumatic brain syndrome and, and, uh, and, and other uh, psychological uh, things. It's a day to remember those veterans who have committed uh, suicide, um, 18 a day. Um, Alita, did you say 300 in Massachusetts? What was the number in Massachusetts? It's 22 a day. 22 a day. Okay, and it's 205 in Massachusetts. 205 in Massachusetts 30, last year. 30, from, 30 last year were um, from, from suicide. And 30 last year, just in the state of Massachusetts. Um, it's, a, um, it's a day, not only remember those, but you know, as, as those who have suffered the consequences of war, um, just think of all the homeless and the percentage of homeless that are veterans. And um, think, of, um, think of all the veterans that um, are housed in our prisons, you know, and as a consequence of their, their experience uh, in war. So, and we really appreciate and welcome our Iraqi friends who have come for the last you know, six years, we have uh, included our Iraqi friends in this ceremony. And six years ago, when we were when we were done, one of the Iraqis came up to me, and I uh, can't speak Arabic, but here's my here's my best uh, accent for Iraqis. And he said, "Pot, uh, of all the years we've been here, Pot, no one, no one has shown uh, uh, any concern about our loss." except for today. Who left for war and failed to return. Those fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, children, who failed to come home in so many ways. Not just those who were killed and died on the battlefield, but those who left and returned home, unrecognizable to the families that they left. So changed by what war does to a human being that their families no longer recognize them. A Veterans Remembrance on Memorial Day. Every year we come out to remember the young dead soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and civilians, which are by far the most. And every year we have more young dead. So it goes. Those who don't remember history are doomed to repeat it. We say we are remembering every year, yet every year we have more young dead. He is a uh, published poet from Iraq. Welcome everybody. I'm just an interpreter, I'm not the poet. The poet is here beside me. His name is Ali Al-Ghazi. 
is our unique voyage uh, in our Iraqi community in uh, Massachusetts and uh, New Hampshire. He is born in Iraq, uh, specifically in uh, Viqar, one of the southern uh, cities. And he has uh, some point about the conditions in Iraq. Uh, he will say it in Arabic, but I'll try to make the idea uh, clear. Not word by word, it's difficult, but I will give you a general idea about the poet. Um, he has a foreword before the poet. He says that the story of the poet is about a... He said, in my homeland, the capital was Baghdad. There was a little girl lost, lost her childhood in the new democracy era in Iraq. Uh, she was in uh, one of the uh, sidewalks in Baghdad's narrow streets where Baghdad was known as a source of knowledge and peace to the whole world. Uh, she was sleeping on the sidewalk and when the same, at the same time the kids for the other, piece, the other parts of the world are sleeping in warmth and wellness. And now the, the, the poet will complete the, uh, the little girl saying uh, as a poet. Thank you. قصيدتي ستكون بحال بلسان حال طفلة عراقية يتموني بزغر حرمان الحنان يتموني بزغر حرمان الحنان من سرقة كل فرحتي ولا فرح يتعنى لجروحه ويشل أم بغداد اللي يسموها قبل دار السلام وهسه يا وسف السلام اصبح قتل تحتفل كل الناس برود وحمام واحنا في بغداد بدنا نحتفل واحنا في بغداد بدنا نحتفل he said that this little girl saying they made me orphan they killed my father and mother they made me poor of the parents um, laps they sold they they uh, they sold they steal from me uh, my my happiness there is no happiness um, my mother baghdad they sold it they was saying about mother baghdad is the peace uh, the peace palace and now it's the blood place it is a place for killing. Okay, we'll line up here in a line, and when a name is called, step forward and take a, a flower off the table and drop it in the harbor in memory and showing respect and honor to that individual. So. Lance Corporal. Travis de Seattle, United States Marine Corps, Vincent Mass, Presente. Presente. DFC, John D. Hack, USA, Vincent Mass, Presente. Presente. DFC, Hennett, J. Iwanisinski. USA, Belcher Town, Mass. Presente. Presente. Londano, United States Army, Dorchester. Presente. Specialist Eduardo Diaz, United States Army, Dorchester. Presente. Corporal Brian Oliveira, U.S. Marine Corps, Rainier Mass. Presente. Captain Benjamin Samus, U.S. Rob Hell, Rolfing, Milton, Matthew, Presente.